Thank you. Now we'll have a uh, presentation from uh, Te Whakauranga Trust, uh, Claire Piper, who's joining us on Zoom. Kia ora, Claire. Uh, and thank you for this opportunity to present to you. Uh, my name is Claire Piper, and I'm here today on behalf of Women in, in Urbanism Aotearoa and the newly established Te Oranga Trust to provide the Council with an update on the proposed uh, Cape Shepherd National Memorial Site Enhancement Project named uh, Te Oranga. In October, uh, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, in October 2021, the Council received a presentation from, me from the members of this group, um, which sought to raise the attention of the site of the Cape Shepherd National Memorial. Te Oranga is a community-led project by volunteers from Women in Urbanism Aotearoa who are seeking to enhance the site of the Cape Shepherd National Memorial in Christchurch and give this significant memorial site the mana it deserves. Next slide, please. We have noted that the site of significant National Memorial in Central Christchurch can be at times hard to find, missed, easily missed and located in an underwhelming setting. We consider that there is an opportunity to enhance this space through the provision of public seating and refreshed landscaping that would allow people to review, reflect, observe and acknowledge the women's suffrage movement in Aotearoa. The aims of this project seek to give greater presence to the memorial, noting that this is not yet a listed heritage item and we would actively support this to be such um, through, uh, the New Zealand, um, through Heritage New Zealand. We'd like to widen the narrative and deepen the understanding of the suffered story, including contribution of uh, Māori wahine, and encourage more people into the space. This project has been six years in the making for me and about two and a half years since you heard, heard from us. And we've established a project team to drive this project to delivery and wish to share our project milestones and key dates now. Next slide, please. In considering the modification of the reserve the memorial is set within, approval will be required from council. It's such to assist with the preparation of the landscape plan for the site, we are holding a public design hui to seek stakeholders and community input into the landscape plan. This hui will be on Sunday, the 23rd of June, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Multicultural Recreation Centre in Hadley Park. We will work through the site and design constraints of this land and seek to review what elements should be included in a new landscape plan that will complement the existing National Memorial and Enhancement setting. This will be the start of the design process where we will gather these opportunities and provide a range of options for a draft landscape plan that stakeholders and design Hawaii participants can provide feedback on. Once the feedback on the draft has been collated, the final draft will be provided to Council's Parks team for comment and subsequent public consultation. So in terms of timeframes, we have the upcoming design hui on the 23rd of June and aim to have the design options hui in July 2024. Following this, we hope to provide the landscape plan for the Council Parks team for comment in August or September and would aim for public consultation, hopefully to commence from Suffrage Day uh, the 19th of September. However, this is subject to the design process and having the plans finalised by this design, um, the design by this date. But just please note that we're all working on this project in our spare time and pro bono. We intend to launch our fundraising campaign for the project at the same time as a consultation. Next slide, please. As a group, we're not seeking funding from council to complete the site enhancement project but rather we're seeking permission for the landscape design and the construction. We seek to encourage you to extend an invitation to the design hui for those stakeholders whom you would like to ensure have a say in the design of the space. And we seek your continued support for council technical staff to provide comments to help with the site works. Next slide, please. So please share and encourage people to, to participate sorry, in the design hui and make sure all the voices are heard and incorporated in the design process. Get your phone out, there's a QR code, please share and, um, and all those in attendance, please also jump on board and be with us. Thank you for your time today and we look forward to working with you and your staff on the details of the project. Next slide. Feel free to contact us via our website or on the email provided on the screen. Thank you.
Thank you, Claire. Thank you very much for the, the work that you're doing on, on this pro bono and everyone else on your team. Um, and we will do our best to support you in this. I particularly like the picture that you've got with your bicycle in there in the shot because actually the bicycle was incredibly important in giving women freedom in those days. So that's very, uh, very good that you've got that in there. So thank you very much. Thank See you. you in June. See you. So we now move on to um, our last public our last public forum. Um, just ask that we get advice on the permissions <coughs> needed and anything that we need to do on that one. Some advice yeah. on council support? Yeah, what, what permissions we need to be able to give them and the process for that and making sure that gets underway. Yeah, that's yep. fine. We'll get some advice on that. Uh, welcome, Jen.